What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back for another day of counting down Osmo's top players according to his NFL rankings. And today we are doing wide receivers for week one. We're going to stick with the top five format today to count down the top receivers today. And we're going to see how that goes for now. But if you want to get all the data yourself to take a look at, go to Osmo.com slash join and use this promo code switch and hedge for half off your first month of Osmo Plus. We also have a bunch of new weekly passes at just $3.95 a week to go check out. So go right now to Osmo.com slash join and find the package that fits you best. Once again, we'll be using Osmo's NFL rankings to determine the best mix between price and value at each position. So let's start the countdown right now with number five on our wide receiver charts, and that is Tyler Lockett going against Detroit. And there will be 27 implied points in this game for Seattle. Lockett gets a B in points and a B in value on Fantasy Draft, a B in points and a C in value on DraftKings, and a B in points and a D in value on FanDuel and Yahoo. Lockett is reasonably priced given the opportunity that Doug Baldwin's retirement opens up with an extra 5.3 targets per game, with Lockett's 82.1% catch rate in 2018. The increased opportunity should make up for the likelihood of regression, though Seattle offense that likes to run and control the clock is always a risk for a wide receiver with 13.6 air yards per target like Tyler Lockett is. A ball control offense can be a risk for a big play receiver like Lockett, but he showed the ability to do it time and again last year, combining for a perfect QB rating with Russell Wilson. He's going to have more shots without Doug Baldwin out there, so I like the chances for him this year. And number four on our wide receiver countdown today is going to be Tyreek Hill going against the Jacksonville Jaguars, and he gets 27.5 implied points for his Chiefs. Tyreek Hill is going to be an A in points and a C in value on FanDuel and Yahoo, and a B in points and a C in value on DraftKings and Fantasy Draft. Draft. Hill was a dazzling deep ball wide receiver last year with 2.6 targets per game of 20 plus yards and a solid 48.8% catch rate on those attempts, as well as an obvious chemistry with Pat Mahomes. Jacksonville's defense does seem due for positive aggression with just 6.2 yards per pass allowed and an 83.8 coverage grade according to PFF. Hill's obviously going to be the focus of Jacksonville's defense of stopping that passing attack, but he is such a quality player who's shown the ability to beat so many coverages that he does seem worth that exposure given the high grades from Osmo's NFL rankings. And number three on our wide receiver countdown for week one is going to be Stefan Diggs going against Atlanta with the 26 implied points for Minnesota. Diggs gets a B in points and a B in value on Fantasy Draft, a B in points and a C in value on DraftKings and FanDuel, and a B in points and a D in value on Yahoo. Diggs is currently questionable but expected to play after notching 9.9 .9 targets per game last year with a nice 69% catch rate. There are genuine concerns about a movement away from high pass volume for Minnesota, but Atlanta's mediocre pass defense who allowed a 68% completion rate should give an explosive player in Diggs a good chance at success. I would personally favor Diggs in lineups in which you think Atlanta's going to have some pass game success and going to result in Minnesota needing to throw the ball more, but Diggs overall projects as a really nice value given that opportunity that he had last year. And now into number two on our countdown, the always great Julio Jones going against Minnesota with 22 implied points for Atlanta. Julio is going to be an A in points and a C in value on FanDuel, an A in points and a D in value on Yahoo, a B in points and a B in value on Fantasy Draft, and a B in points and a C in value on DraftKings. Julio is just behind gadget player Albert Wilson atop the league in yards per route with 2.9 per, and his 10.6 targets per game were third in the league just behind Devontae Adams and Antonio Brown in 2018. Minnesota's defense and tough, and as I mentioned, reports indicate they may emphasize clock control even more this year after limiting wide receiver one production by 23.8%, according to Football Outsiders DVOA metric. Minnesota's defense is good, but Julio Jones is great. He's going to get those targets, and if anything, if the defense is hard, he's going to see more opportunity. So I like the spot for Julio, and he's deserving of that number two ranking this week. And now onto our number one wide receiver, according to Osmo's NFL rankings, and that man is going to be Adam Thielen going against Atlanta with the 26 implied points for Minnesota. Thielen gets an A in points and an A in value on FanDuel, an A in points and an E in value on Yahoo, and a B in points and a B in value on DraftKings and Fantasy Draft. Thielen received a comparably high 9.6 targets per game as Stefan Diggs with 40.9 routes per game behind just Devontae Adams, Antonio Brown, and Juju Smith-Schuster in 2018. Thielen is at a great price if the pass game is a focus, unlike the last four games of last year in which he averaged just 4.8 targets per game, while Diggs averaged 7.3. I have concerns about the pass game volume after what we saw down the stretch from Thielen, as well as the hiring of Gary Kubiak and the reports out there about Minnesota wanting to run the ball more and control the clock. But Thielen, with what he showed last year and his price for week one, it does make sense why he'd be the number one receiver in Osmo's NFL rankings. So there you have it. Those are your top five wide receivers for the week according to Osmo's NFL rankings, and he is the top player in the world for a very good reason. So right now, like the video, and if you agree or disagree, comment which of the guys you'd like to see in this list down below. And once again, make sure to go check out that Osmo.com slash join page to see which package fits for you. And don't be afraid to use the promo code Switch and Hedge for half off your first month of Osmo Plus. Getting a month is a great move, but if you want to try out the week-long express packages, those are just $3.95 a week. So get in there right now and check it out at Osmo.com slash join. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Bags. As you can tell by the last few days, I'm going to have a lot of NFL content for you. And also check out the link in the description. My column, The Slant and Go, is out right now. I break down every game there as well as all the top DFS plays in there according to my views. So go check it out right now down in the description. I'll be back with you guys again tomorrow for the top tight ends and defenses. And I'll see you guys again soon. So good luck.